Hello and welcome to the new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about the quad grouping. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains papers. So let's have a look at the topics of discussion that we are going to slide by step by step starting with the news. We will cover all these topics in brev with brevity as well as easier for you to understand. Let's move forward and talk about the news. So the Prime Minister of India is set to travel to the US in order to have the very first in-person leader level summit of under the court grouping. So very important this is because earlier this year when the leader level summit was held, it was held in a virtual format. But now it is going to be held in an in-person face-to-face format. And of course, when we talk about face-to-face -face communication, in-person communication, that has a lot of impact in the real world. So let's move forward and talk about Quad. Quad, the grouping of Quad, that means it's a grouping of four very important countries in the Indo-Pacific region, namely US, Japan, India and Australia. So these four countries have come together in order to form a quadrilateral in the Indo-Pacific region in order to enhance maritime cooperation, security in order to counter China and also terrorism in the cyberspace as well as in the physical world. So let's talk about a his the history of court for a while. If we talk about the history of it, then it started with the Malabar exercise. Malabar exercise has been in order since the year 1992 between US and India and it was known as a passage exercise or PASIX. Okay, after that it started, after Malabar exercise started and it was just a drill, a naval drill in order to enhance maritime cooperation. But after 1998 it was stopped because of India's Pokhran test, nuclear test and souring of the relations between India and the US and it was again resumed in the year 2002. Okay, so this Malabar exercise started in the Indo-Pacific region. It was joined by the Japan in 2015 and after that recently Australia has also taken part in the Malabar exercise which has infuriated China. So it happens to be that through the process of the passage exercise or the Malabar exercise we got quad or the quadrilateral security dialogue and it was first ever mooted in the year 2007 by the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. So you can see with the help of this particular diagram. Okay, let's see this diagram and this is India. Alright, this is Japan and we also have Australia and the US as you can see it forms a quadrilateral, right? So that is why it is known as quad. And Indo-Pacific, extremely important region this is. Indo-Pacific region is extremely important because of trade security. These two purposes, the primary purpose. And Indo-Pacific has a great heft because it has been emerging as a region which has the biggest economies in the world and a lot of trade takes place through this region and that is why it is very important from the purpose of trade and commerce and security and enhancing maritime cooperation in order to counter terrorism. And it Indo-Pacific is actually having different connotations for different regions. For example, if we talk about India, India wants Indo-Pacific to be inclusive in nature in which every, every country which is involved in the Indo-Pacific region has equal opportunities to gain from and equal challenges to tackle. Whereas if we talk about the US, US wants this region to be free and open and it wants a rules based order in order to make everybody here understand that if we do not follow the rules over here, they will be sanctioned, they will be putting sanctions, the US will be putting sanctions on them. ASEAN has another connotation about the Indo-Pacific, it wants practical cooperation with China. So China as we all know that it is increasing its aggression not only in the territorial but also in the aquatic region. It claims in the South China Sea so many islands which are also disputed by other countries and under 9 dash line the map of China its own map 9 dash line it claims historical relations with these islands of Scarborough, Shoal, Parasis, Spratly Island. So, there is a lot of territorial uh, and equity uh, aggression from China. 
we have issues when it comes to trade if china gets a hold of this region so many choke, choke points are there that it can use it these choke points in order to bother every country who has a trade going through this region so that is why it is very important for a security dialogue so if we talk about the current summit that is going to ha happen at a leader level at a leader level it is very important from the biden harris administration they have elevated a role or they have put the quad on a pedestal that it has been elevated the importance of india japan and australia accordingly has been elevated and there are many issues not only now see it is being touted as mini nato uh, from the perspective of china but it is not not only we want through quad india japan australia and the us not only want a free open indo pacific but also on other issues as well we want to cooperate for example post covid 19 world and covid 19 itself as well as addressing the climate crisis partnering on emerging technologies and cyberspace and also promoting a free and open indo pacific now see the importance of any organization will get redundant when it only focuses on one thing and if we talk about quad quad is actually opening up its ambit for other sectors as well that is very helpful in the sense if you suppose you are friends with four people and you tend to talk on only one issue so it might happen that cooperation and coordination and understanding on another issue suppose you for talk about only political problems and political scenarios but you if you start talking about other things such as football if you start talking about movies there are so many areas you can all together explore and enhance your partnership in similar is for quad okay so the current situation in afghanistan is the most important for every country that is involved here in the asia region in fact the entire world because taliban taking power in afghanistan through means which are not democratic in nature and because these countries such as japan india australia and the us they are like minded economies so like minded countries so of course this situation of afghanistan is very tense for every country that the entire globe in fact so quadrilateral as a security dialogue quadrilateral security dialogue will of course have too much on its plate right now actually to discuss moving on let's talk about the significance for india first india's role as a net security provider in the region india has always wielded its power in the indian ocean region in the indo pacific region in a very benevolent manner it never was disputing areas it never has been um, uh, trying to engulf areas which is actually belonging to some other country and some uh, sometimes of course a benevolent power is much more powerful than some someone like uh, we know about of course china so it's very important that india's role as a net security provider will be established through quad for these many countries the asean and many smaller countries which are having problems with china again countering china because as i already told you in south china sea this which connects the indian ocean and the pacific ocean it is the western arm of the pacific ocean so we need to understand the importance of this region in order to contain china contain in the sense not by only force but by a psychological message as well that this region belongs to every country that is sharing the borders with the aquatic region so it's very important in that sense as well anti terrorism as many terrorist outfits have been emboldened by the move of taliban in order to capture power in afghanistan now terrorism is something that we need to look at from the perspective of these big economies these big groups now another thing post covid international order also needs to be discussed because as covid passes away most of the countries will try to get back to normal in a much more robust sense that means their economies the wheels of economies will need to be moving in a very fast pace in order to make up for the lo losses what whatever has been done by the covid so trade in order to that in order to boost that we need trade and commerce that means not only trade within the country but also outside the country let's move forward and talk about the challenges first is that it is not a formal grouping as it is not a formal grouping there is not a proper documentation of the clear cut sections are not given where these countries can of course have a cooperation in first is that 
So there is no systematic standard of procedure. We need a standard of procedure. We need to institutionalize and formalize this grouping in order to, of course, increase its gravitas. Moving on, China's growing influence in this region. China is totally aggressive right now when it comes to expansion. It is, uh, it is resorting to new, uh, new imperialistic measures and moves. So we need to understand that until and unless a proper organization such as Quad that meets on a regular basis in order to enhance its cooperation, not only to counter China, but in other segments as well, China will keep on increasing its aggression. Also, COVID-19 itself. So right now, there are the, the biggest area of uh, convergence and cooperation is the health sector. And that is of utmost importance that how these countries will have the challenge of COVID-19 to be tackled as many more waves might come. Moving on, let's talk about the way forward. Formalize squad, provide a proper maritime document, cybercrime document, or any other document which is working in a manner, which is putting quad in a manner, needs to be taken seriously. And hence, we need to understand that close cooperation in other fields will be required for documentation, right? And multilateral cooperation in the sense that quadrilateral security dialogue should not only look inwards, it should also look outwards. That means quadrilateral as a grouping can enhance its partnership with other groups as well, such as European Union, such as um, ASEAN. For that, we need that there should be proper dialogue and common interests should be looked at. Moving on, let's talk about the means-based question. In the face of rising uncertainty in geopolitics, examine the relevance and implication of quad grouping in 250 words. Okay, so that's it for today. Tomorrow, we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.